All the animations you're seeing on screen right now were created by an AI called Kaiba. It's very similar to Mid Journey, but instead of generating images via text, you can now do the same thing, but for animations. It takes a long time to create really good animations. To give you guys a reference point, just to create 10 seconds worth of usable film for a Pixar movie, it'll take up to one week or even several weeks just for 10 seconds. So this video, we're gonna go over exactly how powerful the Kaiba tool is. Now I do have the paid version of the subscription because I wanted to give a full proper review to see what the real capabilities are for this AI. So in order to create a proper animation, I need to give a picture or a video. And what the AI will do is create its own animation based off of the image or video you give it, but also based off of the description. So if you're trying to go for more of a happy animation, you just state that in the description and it'll act accordingly. So let's do this. I want to create three different types of animations. Let's begin. So this is the first image that we're gonna be doing and I made this image from Mid Journey. So I asked Mid Journey to create some movie quality picture of somebody contemplating their purpose in life. So I picked my pictures, we continue to the next prompt. So this is where you start to write the description. So you can type your own or you can use some already generated prompts that has been created. But for this video or for this animation, I wanna create my own prompt and stay true to the theme of just contemplating the purpose of life. I wanna create an animation that shows the journey to find purpose and meaning in life. So there's already curated styles that you can choose from just to give some theming to the animation. So for this animation, I click intergalactic. I feel like it, it resonates well with like the purpose and meaning of life because life is just so big and unpredictable. So anyways, I'm not trying to get too deep into this, but uh, let's move on to the second part, which is uh, describe the art style. So. I think since the picture from mid journey that was generated, it was based off like a movie quality. I want to go more of a cinematic approach. So let's, uh, let's go with that. So let's, let's do it and see what it, what it comes up with. This might take a little time. 2000 years later. Finally, it's done. So let's take a look at it. Right now, my imagination is going wild. Like if you're a YouTube creator, for example, and you're trying to start a channel and you're not good at animation, you can create that and create the basis, the foundation through the, just this AI. It's, it's really cool. Like, wow. Very impressed. Very impressed. Now, don't forget this AI can also create videos and add animations to it. So I just uploaded my footage of my snowboarding trip that I had, just some, some highlights, not even really highlights, just very basic snowboarding down the mountain. You know what would be really cool? I feel like a futuristic cyberpunk city kind of vibe going down a mountain would be kind of a cool video. We did cinematic last time, so maybe let's go more of like a concept art. I think it pairs well with like cyberpunk and also concept art. Keep in mind when you use this AI, it takes a long time. So just let it do its work. A few minutes later. Finally, it's done. Let's take a look at what it came up with. Like it's cool. Like it's a little bit, I guess, very abstract. You don't really know like what's going on on like the second phase of this. So this one took a little bit longer, I feel, because I guess it's just more of like a moving video, but nonetheless, uh, very impressed. So for the last animation that we're going to do, I chose a picture from a Pixar film called Up. And the picture is very iconic. So I think it's going to pair well with like the future of animation, possibly. Huh, that's cool. Turns into a tree. And then it starts to turn into a ship in the air to replicate hammer, um, sorry, heaven. Uh, so there, it's interesting, like how AI can view what would we, how we perceive heaven would look like, which 
I don't know if pirate ships in the sky would be heaven, but I don't know. Getting off topic. So this tool for me was worth the money. So their whole system for the payment plan, I pay about 15 bucks a month right now. That's the first uh, month that I paid for to make this video. And they give you X amount of credits. I believe they give you a thousand credits. And depending on what you're trying to do, if you're trying to make a video or make a picture animation or an audio file, it'll take different amounts of credits. But for a paid service, given what it can do, depending on what your use cases are. So if you're like a youtuber trying to like take it to the next level and start to like add more animations to your your b-roll footage maybe this is something that can add value to you uh, if you're just trying to play around with it you can just do the free plan which is more than enough to make a couple uh, animated pictures uh like we just did uh, but if you're trying to go the longer route and you want to experiment more i would recommend just do the monthly plan and just have some fun with it um not sponsored at all by any means but Definitely, as you guys can see, it is a very it is a very interesting tool that can evolve to something even bigger. And who knows, we'll start to see this type of technology and probably higher budget of films. I no doubt about it if it keeps advancing at this. Just give it a couple months. It'll probably get there. But that's the end of this video. Hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys are currently using and what you guys think is actually worth the money to pay monthly. So far, it's this is one of my top AI tools that I think is worth it, plus chat GPT, of course. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.